Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. And today I am joined by my friend Timmy from the channel Imagine Scent. This is from uh, the company Zoologist. So this is the newest release and it's called Civet. It's composed by Shelley Waddington. And uh, I just want to take a moment to tell you guys the notes and there are a lot of them in here. But we have a lot of citrus, we have bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange, spices, and tarragon. In the heart, we have carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, hyacinth, linden blossom, tuberose, and elang. And then in the base, we have balsams, civet, of course, uh, coffee, incense, labdanum, musks, oak moss, resins, leather, vanilla, vetiver, and woods. Um, really cool presentation that we have here. So it has a magnetic flap and it closes just like that. And the bottle itself is equally as attractive. So um, those of you who are familiar with this house, you know that they have fragrances that are named after different animals. Um, a lot of them aren't necessarily created to smell like the animal, but more like the dwelling place mm -hmm. of those animals. Uh, bat is a really good example of that. It just has like this sort of cavernous smell with the uh, ripe mm -hmm. fruits and the soil. Mm -hmm. um, but we had a chance to smell it for a little bit now. What do you think about it, Timmy? Um, First of all, largest note breakdown yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> and I agree with that and what you said about the environment as well, like panda reminds me of bamboo forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. So with this one, to me, I do get that like black pepper kind of opening. It's bright, but it's more mature, powdery. Um, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, well, when I first tried this, I, there was a little bit of trepidation because I was like, Civet, I know civet is not a pleasant note um, if it's used in a very high concentration in fragrances. And then I smelled it and I'm like, man, I'm very pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I do have to agree with Timmy. It smells a little bit more mature. So it smells like something that somebody who's a little bit more established, maybe a little bit more sophisticated, very set in their ways. Uh, this is the sort of fragrance that I would imagine that person uh, wearing. Um, but I think the presence of florals, like the frangipani and the tuberose, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe even the heliotrope a little bit, giving it that little bit of a sweetness, I think that would cater to somebody who is a fan of like these older powerhouses like opium, mm -hmm. um, just somebody who is familiar with, because I think with its use of the notes of that, uh, it is sort mm -hmm. of an homage to those classic feminine fragrances and I think they hit the nail right on the head mm. with this one. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just incredibly pleasant. Um, I just think it's something that it is leaning a little bit more in the feminine category. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just think that if you're confident enough, anybody can wear it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely, um, it's unisex, but it does lean a lot more feminine like you said. Mm -hmm. um, with this one, like with the other zoologist fragrances, I can kind of imagine that habitat. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with the the civet cats, so I can't yeah. really imagine a habitat that to go with this scent. To yeah. be perfectly honest, um, can you imagine like a civet cat environment with this one? Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's that's a really good. I guess because there are so many notes that it's hard to picture just one thing. Um, I know that if you look at the inside, there is a little bit of a, a description on the scent and uh, sort of the environment that it's meant to evoke or convey. And it says, as the sun sinks over the dense tropical forests, civets emerge warily from the thickets under a carpet of narcotic flower blossoms. So it paints this sort of vivid image of how you're in a forest and then you have these flowers in bloom. And uh, mm. I think as far as it's aligned with that narrative, mm -hmm. I think that no breakdown is perfect. Um, right. But again, I guess it doesn't smell too much like a civet cat to me. No. <laughs> and uh, maybe in many ways I'm very happy <laughs> that mm. it doesn't smell like a civet cat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like heavy animalic civet yeah. notes. Oud. Uh, yeah, so really, really nicely done for a fragrance name, civet. For I sure. I completely agree. It's like you said, I was very, very scared. Yeah. Like, Victor, what are you doing? Civet? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Why? Pick any Why? other animal, not right. this one. <laughs> But uh, no, smelling it now, like it's, it, I think it's a pretty clever um, homage to mm -hmm. the really classic women's fragrances. And uh, mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a fitting note. And I mm -hmm. think he found a way, because I think that was one of the biggest criticisms that he faced, mm -hmm. is that a lot of them were just a little bit too animalistic. I remember with mm -hmm. even Beaver mm -hmm. and them having to reformulate it. 
Um, but with this one, it's like, nope, we're not going to make it animalistic. We're mm-hmm. just going to give you an animal, but we're going to make you mm-hmm. something that you can wear, something that you can enjoy. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this for uh, women. Mm-hmm. If you love some of those classic fragrances like uh, opium and perhaps a few others, I would highly recommend that you check this one out. I think this is a really wonderful addition to the line. And uh, another thing that I really like about it is that it doesn't smell like any of their previous releases. No, not at all. <clears throat> like, uh, uh, so I'll just has this kind of DNA about them. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't have yeah. that at yeah. all. And I feel like if you're looking for the most wearable Soologist fragrance, this is probably the most wearable one, okay. yeah. in my personal opinion, because mm-hmm. it's not animalic yeah. at all. I think a lot of people will enjoy this one. If you do enjoy the 80s perfume, you will enjoy this one, in my personal opinion. Yeah. It's very pleasant. I like it. It's just really not for me, yeah. but I do, I, I do like this one for the scent. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, agreed. I think if there were such a thing as perfume segregation, we would have like <laughs> beaver, rhinoceros, and bat on one side, and mm. then we would have like nightingale, hummingbird, and civet on the other side. Mm. So it definitely uh, leans in that territory. So um, yeah, if you have tried any of the other ones, that would be my frame of ref- reference for you. Mm-hmm. Now, um, unfortunately, I can't really comment on like performance in terms of longevity and projection because I just got this a few hours ago, mm-hmm. um, but I will definitely be doing a follow-up uh, more detailed uh, review where I break down the notes and how long it lasts and uh, mm-hmm. so this was just our first impression and mm-hmm. Timmy thank you so much for being on on camera thank I you for having me. <laughs> yeah of course my pleasure thank you for inviting me to your hotel room mm-hmm. and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here in Manhattan thank you mm-hmm. I'm actually going to leave all of Timmy's information down below so definitely make sure you check him out subscribe to him he has a great channel mm-hmm. um, I really appreciate all of the hard work that you've been putting into your channel lately and I think oh, uh, thank you very much I, mm-hmm. I just I, I know I it's gonna mm-hmm. prosper it's going to flourish and uh, it's going to turn into something much much bigger so guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe for future videos remember we smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you in the next episode take care bye guys